some of the most dangerous items in your house may be right in your medicine cabinet. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Pennsylvania State Representative Seth Grove. Thanks for being with us. Good to be here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about prescription medication. For the intended purposes, they can really help people mm -hmm. be life-saving, in mm -hmm. fact, but in the wrong hands, they can be deadly. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, prescription overdoses. We have uh, youth getting into their parents' or grandparents' medicine cabinets, uh, taking their uh, prescription medication and using it for illicit use. Um, it can expire, and a lot of times the uh, dosage actually increases or becomes out of whack. So it could be hazardous to your health to take expired medication. And it's a problem disposing of it. How do you properly dispose of a medication? A lot of people put it in their garbage or dump it down the sink. Well, that can actually affect our water supply and be very uh, environmentally detrimental um, to individual health, uh, plants, wildlife's health as well. So it's a serious concern. And the DEA actually has a, a national initiative mm -hmm. to turn in those prescription drugs yep. at authorized locations. This is an event that you've held locally in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, this year on Saturday, April 30th, you've developed a partnership to mm -hmm. make this work. Yep. The DEA courted with coordinated with local law enforcement, so we teamed up with West Manchester Township Police Department. Uh, they held it last year, something like 300 to 400 people dropped off their prescription drugs. A uh, great way to dispose of your medication safely. Um, law enforcement's going to be on hand, a pharmacist is going to be on hand to input it and take it off the streets and dispose of it properly. Uh, even our local waste management uh, corporation, uh, we have an incinerator, uh, they have the ability to, uh, I think it's once a month, to drop off your prescription drugs and then they'll incinerate them. So very safe. Why is it so important to have these drop-off locations, mm -hmm. have these types of events? It's not something we typically think about in terms of, of what's in our own medicine cabinet. Yeah, definitely not. A lot of people uh, don't check their expiration dates. And again, a lot of people, you know, if it's liquid, they just dump it down the sink. Uh, they just throw it in the garbage. and They don't think about the repercussions, uh, the hazard to the environment. When that stuff gets into our water systems, you're drinking, you know, how many different prescription drugs are there? You know, heart medications, uh, liver medications, blood pressure medications. It's going into our drinking water. Kids are drinking it. Um, so we need to ensure we have safe water to drink. And it's a great way for individuals to drop off expired medication and make sure it doesn't get in the hands of uh, young adults who may abuse it. Um, even uh, pull it out of the streets because a lot of prescription drugs have high street value as well. Uh, now, this may be a good opportunity for us to just clean out that medicine cabinet mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. and, and think about, do we still take this medication? Is it something we use? Is it expired? Yep. Spring cleaning's right around the corner. Great way to kind of go through, do some spring cleaning, uh, turn over your old prescriptions, whether you don't use them anymore or they're expired, uh, turn them over to the authorities and uh, let them properly be disposed of. What can we actually bring to this disposal site uh, happening on Saturday, April 30th? Uh, prescription drugs, prescription uh, liquid medication, uh, nothing intravenous, no illegal drugs. Obviously, police are going to be there, so if you do drop it off, you'll be arrested on the spot. Um, and it's a very safe environment uh, to, to turn over your, your uh outdated medications. Can we bring over-the-counter drugs is there, or is this solely for prescriptions? Solely for prescriptions, uh, no over-the-counter drugs. Uh, mm -hmm. Now when we talk about an event like this, uh, it may be a way to, to think about uh, cleaning out that medicine cabinet and getting rid of those prescriptions, but it may be a good time to have a conversation with other people mm -hmm. in our house about some of the dangers associated with these legal substances that, if used correctly, serve a very legitimate purpose. Yeah, especially if you have young kids at home. Um, a lot of the pain medications uh, can be mixed with alcohol at times or uh, mixed with uh, other variations of drugs uh, to make it more potent. It's a great time to have that conversation about how harmful drugs are uh, to yourself and the loved ones who live around you. So oh. it's a wonderful opportunity we to do that as well. We just have a short time left, mm -hmm. but uh, do people need to sign up for this event or can they nope. just come? Just show up. Uh, West Manchester Township uh, Police Department between 10 and 2 on April 30th and we'll take them off your hands. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've been talking with Pennsylvania State Representative Seth Grove. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.